Squad, this is DTJ here, and I am going to go inside an auto box here in Japan and go shopping for some car care products, show you what they have inside, and go over some car care tips, give you some very helpful advice before you come here. Autobox and its competitor Yellow Hat are the two biggest car care shops in Japan. They're in just about every prefecture, so you don't have to look too hard for them. Here you have some Spashan Care products. They specialize in glass cleaning and overall car detailing products. I heard they even have an energy drink. And that's a coating sponge in that box label Bob, <laughs> B-O-B. and a traditional school wax and applicator. This is a headlight restoral kit. So in Japan, especially during the spring months, we get a lot of dust and dirt blowing around on our cars, pollen, what have you. That plus the UV from the sun can give some headlights a yellow tint that's really hard to get off. That's where this stuff comes in. Another honorable mention is a product named Auto Gleam. I've been using their stuff for years. They have a wide variety of products, including a headlight polisher. So I'll go to that cabinet later. All right, let's keep walking. Mm, that's a really soft bristle. See, that's what you want to clean your wheels. It's much better than the sponge and you can really get in those crevices with this thing and not get your hands all gross. Smart View 1 is a liquid you put on your windshield and it acts as a rain repellent and it can also be used to help remove ice from your windshield. So you just apply and rub. Tire spray to give them that luster black shine. And this is Glaco. It's just like that Smart View one we just talked about before. Water repellent, glass cleaner, used the same way. Yep, window washing fluid.
Again, most of the stuff is headlight, tail light, abrasive, and polishers. Removing that thin film buildup from the surface and polish it to give it a renewed shine. I used to have a Bug Eye Subaru STI and I used to have this problem often when I lived in Okinawa, Japan. The sun was relentless, but with my current cars, I don't go through this so much. Compound wax, as you can see, it really gets in there. Feel those cracks. Navigational systems here, with the cheapest one here being about 33,000 yen, a little under 300 US dollars. So, being in Japan, most navigational units are in Japanese. Mine are in English, but of course, it just depends on your unit. If you want to use your cell phone for a navi, then that's okay too. With these, you can put in the phone number of the place you want to find and it will route it. So, that is very helpful. That's how I always use it. And with the navigational units, you can just hit the home button to route back home, and they have a much bigger screen than your phone. So, that's cool. It's really up to you and your situation. If you're lucky, and this is usually the case, the car you purchase will already have one. Not always, but it's expected these days. Of course, if you buy one here, they will install it for you. six by nine and tweeters and they even have noise cancellation foam for all you audiophiles out there that's a new word i just learned tane suspension is big in japan i used to own Cusco suspension myself i used to have Cusco coilovers in my cars i remember when the tane came out with the suspension you can control in your car without having to get out and tweak it <laughs> and the wrx is you have to pull the back seats back just to get to the coilovers and adjust them so tane kind of changed the games with those And these are the Auto Glean products I was talking about earlier. Leather Care Spray, Leather Balm. Those are my biggest buys right there. Smells good too. They literally keep these under lock and key. And I've been using this stuff since 2010. So I recommend their products, especially for Leather Care. Roof racks, very valuable for that extra cargo space. 
Just keep in mind, these things get exposed to the elements 24 seven. So after a couple of years, you'll need to take it down, sand it and get it powder coated if possible. So that's one of the hidden costs no one talks about with these things. It might even be cheaper just to buy a new one. driving gloves for all you out there with them soft tender hands that can't even grip the steering wheel <laughs> i'm joking they look like some weightlifting gloves honestly but now they're driving gloves mm, okay if you need windshield wipers just flip one of these over to find the make and model of your car on the back if you can't find them or you need help just ask the staff to help you it has to be the right size size does matter in this situation And these are invaluable for touching up damage to your wheels. It can't cover everything, but with wheels and some door dings, it's great. Now I haven't had to change oil in years, but they do change oil and tires here. So let me share what I learned with you, okay? And you'll really want to hear this. So if your car is a Japanese make, like Honda, Nissan, Mazda, Toyota, then you're good to go here. However, if your car is a foreign make, especially a Ford, then my friend, you better bring your own filters. So do your homework, get the right filters and come here with them and let them know that you have the filters already. I have tried to bring a BMW and a Ford here and they cannot find the right filters for them in their database. So bring your own filters if possible. Man, M-A-N-N, -N, makes great filters for BMW, Volkswagens, and actually a lot of other make. You can get those on Amazon Japan and whatnot. Subscribe for more manly knowledge, it's free. And also, if you're not sure which oil weight you need for your car, just Google your make and model and cash roll but have it in their database or your owner's manual, but big rule is to get a thicker oil in the summer months and a thinner oil in the winter months. So having two different viscosities of the same oil helps out.
microfiber cloths for the interior guys all the way. Now some of these shift knobs and pedals can get maker specific, especially with the pedals because of their size, right? If they're too big, it becomes a safety issue. For instance, this one is for most Hondas like the Wagon R, Hustler, Fit, Spade, Wish, and others. Just so you know, there's a super auto box in Japan as well. They have dinos in there and the facility is larger as well.
And that's my time. Thanks for coming with me to buy this stuff. I'm DT. Like, subscribe. You already know I'm going to have more videos up. Check them out. Appreciate your time. See you on the next one. DT out.